Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm John. I'm Nicole. And as you see, we're in the car today. So we're on our way to the county clerk so we can get our tags done. So follow along. Oh, and we also have a little uh, secret to tell, but you have to wait a little bit. We had a visitor from a couple people the other night. But we're gonna show you that too. So follow along with us. So we made it here. Pretty big building. We're on our way home from the DMV now, and we got most of everything done. Uh, we do have to go back again because I need to get my two bill of sales for the trailers that we've got. Um, and we're missing our title for the truck still hasn't gotten here from Maryland, so we're gonna have to go back to Maryland and try to figure out what's going on with that. And my car is a ghost car. Yeah, and her car, the VIN number doesn't even show up in the National VIN database. They never made it, apparently, and nobody has record of it. But we got a title for it, so I don't know how that works. But we'll be traveling up to Maryland soon to hopefully go to the DMV there to get a title for the truck, if we can do. So we'll see. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed our little visit, and the scenery on the way there was beautiful. So we'll see you back at the house. Well, we just got home and it looks like we're gonna be getting some rain. It's getting pretty gloomy outside. So we figured today's a great crock pot meal day. What are we cooking today, honey? Um, some pot roast. I already went five hours in the crock pot and then you put all your vegetables in and it goes another two hours until it falls apart. But I kind of, it's getting kind of full, but it'll be good. Mm, I can't wait to eat this later. I guess the biggest part of this video is the part that we're going to be showing soon. And that was from the visitors that we got the other night around 7 or 8 o'clock. And it has to do with the house, so we probably gave it away a little bit. But we'll show some video of that somewhere around here. Alright everyone, well we thought we were done with videos. But we just got a phone call from the surveyor. So he's on his way to the house right now. So, 7.25 p.m. and he called and said he's gonna be a half hour. Yep, so hopefully it'll be light enough to get some video when he comes. So we'll see. We're up here at the home site right now. And he said he's about half a mile down the road that way. So we should be here in uno momento. So they're out here right now. It's probably a little after eight o'clock and we're getting a little survey done. We picked a good spot for the house. It was nice outside yesterday. Nicole and Grandpa went ahead and painted some rocks for our orchard. Here's all the rocks that we got painted. So now we just have to seal them so that uh, you know it won't wash away. And we thought it would be a cool little little tag to put down in the individual areas for the blackberries and then what the plants are. So that was pretty neat. In a little bit we can um grandpa gave me the idea of why don't you start like tomatoes and, and having some pot or something why you're not doing nothing one day and i'm thinking yeah i never thought like i could just grow like one or two of them and put them in a pot and keep them over here we have a lot of them what's your thought on that see the problem is she loves having the plants but it wouldn't survive because they would never get watered i'll water them so I saw the neighbor walking down with the dogs. We're gonna go take a look, and show you the new dog that he got. I know the animal lovers might be interested. So let's go see. <laughs> so 
so that was our neighbors and the doggies Sam and Rebel hey everyone I'm just sitting here researching some local butcher shops in the area uh, Nicole had to go out and take her grandfather to the store so when she gets back uh, I think we're gonna head over to a couple of local butcher shops and see what they have to offer so we're on our way to the butcher shop it's called J&M's Family Butcher Shop here in Tennessee in Oak Ridge so I thought a fun little fact while we were behind this U-Haul truck that according to U-Haul statistics so they have the most trucks rented one way to Tennessee kind of interesting thought I'd let you know Hey everyone, we just got back from the butcher shop and I wanted to show you what we got. Uh, I've got some ground beef, two packs. These are, uh, this is all the tenderloin that we had cut up in the steaks. These are the tips. We've got uh, some sausage links, some hot Italian sausage. We've got some sliced bacon, which is that three pounds worth of bacon. Some honey and some fresh eggs. So I'm down here in the basement now. And because we have all this meat, we've got to package it up. So I have to find the vac sealer in somewhere of all of our stuff somewhere. So I can start looking for a vac sealer. All right, so I searched inside the house and I was only able to find vac seal bags. So the hunt still continues. So that was a success. We were able to find one of our vac sealers. Oh, as you see behind me, there's my CNC machine. We're gonna get that up and running, hopefully, when we get the garage done. Okay, so now I got everything I need. I'm gonna start vac sealing up everything. It looks like Nicole's making, what are you making? Um, a two layer almond cake. Two layer almond cake. It's like a white chocolate cake. Here, let's show you the ingredients. So what I like to do is, I like to package these up two per pack. Um, with the sausage, we got six links of sausage here. So what I'm probably going to do is just put all of these together in one, uh, one bag. One of the things that I really like about these bags that, I don't know, I guess the, when you make them yourself doesn't have, at the top of the bag, it has a little slit right here on the end so that this way you can peel the bag open and you don't need a uh, knife or a pair of scissors or something. You can just pull that slit right there. Getting everything else packaged up. I got my bacon packaged up here and I've got two more to pack up with the bacon and I'll show you what we've got in the freezer. So all of this meat is from today. All packaged up. And now that'll hold for months on end inside the freezer, uh, vac sealed. So that's why we vac seal everything because we buy in bulk when we can. So I'm just sitting here at the computer again. Uh, I emailed Matt uh, about the survey. I just sent him an email now. So hopefully uh, we'll know something by the beginning of the, this coming week here about the survey on the house. So this way we can uh, figure out uh, what house we are going to put there because we keep going back and forth in our minds. So uh, we're going to have to talk with him a little bit more over at Clayton Homes. So when we do and we figure out a little bit more definitive uh, home that we're going to put there, we get some prices on the excavation. We'll be sure to let you know. Well, that's all for the episode today. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm John. If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up, click subscribe, and tick the little bell. It really helps us out. If you have any comments, post them down below. We'll see you on the next one.